Hello and welcome to another unboxing on my channel. Today with my first box of the Detective Conan card game from Takara Tomi. And yeah, this is the same company that produces the Vigros cards. And Vigros cards are usually very high quality, well made, nice texture and foiling. So I have high hopes. Uh, this has released like some time ago. But yeah, when it had uh, the release it was super popular and was sold out in many places or very expensive so i waited to get this and yeah now it's uh just available for the regular price i don't think this is like difficult to get anymore i got it just from from amazon japan and we have a box topper card of the the small conan and the big chinji yeah chinji why do I always say Chinji? Chinichi. Chinji is the, the Evangelion character. But yeah, let's see how the, the card looks. By now we have, we already have the second set out. Uh, I think it's it's better available. I don't know if they have raised the, the print run. But it looks like, oh, why is there English? Deserve a red. Oh, I think the character was an American, like football player or something. I think something with sports. Yeah, there was like an episode with sports. And yeah, I really like the the back. Looks really nice, really classic. Really cool look. Looks like from the. I don't know. A lot of the artworks look like from the manga. Or are from yeah are from the mangas. This is new art, I guess. And let's check the rarity. It's just a rare. So maybe we get a. I don't know a foil card in every pack. I watched one opening like some months ago, but I, I forgot everything, again. So yeah, but this like keyhole design is definitely uh. The back of the manga covers, they they have this design. So this looks really cool. But yeah, this looks like new art. Oh, and we already have something. Okay, is this... Is this already the the box hit? I hope not. It's a, it's a SR. Don't know if this is a... The regular SR or the parallel. It should be like a parallel version. But yeah, some texture, very subtle in the background. And the frame is also textured. The character not. Yeah, this looks nice. I just hope it's not the the only big hit. Hope it's like in in Union Arena, where you get like five, five super rares. But yeah, this is a very, very basic design. I wonder if they will continue with this. I, I mean, I like it because I, I know it from the, from the manga. Okay. okay, this was not the box hit. I guess uh, iHibara is the box hit. It's a SRP, so super rare parallel, I would say. Oh, I like the artwork. There are many weird looking eye hybara artworks or like where her face looks a little bit off but i i like this artwork a lot also the the lightning in her hair with this bluish bluish tint very nice okay so happy to know that the sr isn't like the the highest hit and yeah looking at the card gallery we do have and yeah, there's a kaito kit srp also but i hybara is like one of the the highest hits you can get or like most expensive cards who is she she's just a rare but yeah unfortunately this uh, tcg is only available in japanese at the moment i don't know if they will ever like produce this in english too in Japan, it looks like that Conan is still super popular, which I, I didn't know. Like, it's still running. and uh, But I, I didn't expect the TCG to 
to be so popular. Or maybe the Brint one. A uh, Brint one was just very small in the beginning. No idea. But yeah, I hope it's doing well in Japan. Maybe if you know more than me, uh, let me know. Oh, we get two. So this looks like Chinichi's father as Kaito Kid. Or is this Kaito Kid's father? I don't know. And oh, okay, this is a cute uh, corner and rare. Fully traditional style of the manga and the CP. Yeah, most expensive card in the set is a signed card by the manga car, by the author of Detective Conan. And I, I really like this because in, in other TCGs we have signed cards by the voice actor and I I know I will not make friends with what I say now, but I, I never really like I understand that the uh okay this is he chi I guess. There's some nice pattern texture in the background. Another super rare. I I understand that the voice of a character is is important. I I don't deny that. But I I don't care enough person. To, I I don't I don't know. I never understood like why and why Schwarz or like other TCGs. People are so hyped for the voice actor signature. Like oh, okay, it's fine. I think the the signature from the author is just so much cooler and better and yeah. If I could choose between voice actor or author, I would always choose uh, the author. I don't know. Don't care so much about the the voice actors sometimes. Like when when they are bad, of course it can ruin the the show sometimes, especially it's like the main character. Or if it's just like you just don't vibe. You just don't vibe with the voice or don't like it. But yeah, I don't know. It's not so, so hype for me. I I like the, the manga art. Maybe if you have watched my, my Weiss Schwarz unboxings I, I in the beginning of this channel, like some years ago, I did a Weiss Schwarz unboxing of Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. And yeah, in in this set release, they used a lot of the manga art too, I think because of licensing. But I, I really like manga art use in card games. It looks, most of the times it looks so much better than the the anime artwork. Especially the, the anime art when it uh, looks like faded or, yeah, I don't know, when the colors are not so vibrant. I mean, like one exception, oh, uh, would probably be the Demon Slayer. Like, if you have read the the Demon Slayer manga, the art style is, uh, yeah, it's something else, it's special. Like my mom always tells me, I'm special, but yeah, it looks sometimes questionable. Oh, yeah, this is one of the earliest uh, manga volumes. There is a she on the the back. But yeah, I guess the if they used the Demon Slayer manga art in a card game, I would say, yeah, I, I would rather have the, the anime, <laughs> please. <laughs> it's not so nice. But yeah, I, I have no idea, as always, I have no idea how to play this TCG. And since I... Okay, this is cool. Kaito Kit. No, this is not Kaito Kit. This is also Shinichi. Just trust. This should be Shinichi. And I have to compare it. In set two, we get a... I have seen we get a six signed Kaito Kit Shinichi, I think. Or is it just Kaito Kit? I have it on a second screen. It looks so cool. So I, I will try to get a... Um, a box of set two two. And yeah, uh, our third, third super rare. The the FBI lady. I don't remember the name. Can I read the the katagana? 
no. Cinco, no. No idea. Yeah, probably like from volume one, I would say. Oh, I think there was a Jin card I would like to pull. Jin is my my favorite of the the bad guys. And also, there's also a SRP, but I guess you cannot you cannot pull two SRPs in one box. But an SRP of the the FBI sharpshooter, like uh, okay, uh, Ak Akai Akai. I don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah, done. And this this art style looks so different from the the manga art, and I like it. It's also different from the from the anime art, so they do have unique artworks, which is great. But yeah, no, I I have to watch some unboxings after after I have recorded this just to see if uh, if there is a SRP guaranteed. I would say no, from my feeling. Don't expect like a SRP to be guaranteed, but. Maybe there is like some kind of parallel foil card guaranteed, like in Union Arena. Oh yeah, this is uh, Akai or Akai, the the FBI guy I mentioned on the SRP. But there should also okay. So yeah, there's also a super rare of him. So maybe there's still hope to pull the the regular one. No. Oh, what is this? This is a R. Okay, so you can get an SRP and a rare parallel. So this has a uh, nice texture around the leaves. Another parallel card. So basically two parallels in a box. So yeah, my guess would be the, the SRP is not guaranteed. Just one, one parallel should be guaranteed. Oh yeah, it's just a rare card, so no texture. But man, this artwork looks so badass. That's cool. What a nice uh, Shin artwork. Yeah, there were some Weiss Schwarz Blau releases of Detective Conan, but yeah. No comparison to this, like this looks so much better than the, the Weiss Schwarz Blau. In general, I say uh, Weiss Schwarz in general is just uh, overrated. But yeah, let's see, we have now I as a, as a SR and SRP. So the SRP has this gold lettering stamp and also like the, the numbers. What's not so cool is that basically the the texture and background is the same. So yeah, I would say it's and also there is a very fine borderline of gold going around the artwork and the SRP. But it's not looking so much better. Just to be honest, like if I already have this super rare, I would never spend like extra money. I don't know how much more I would have, but it looks fine, but not so amazing that I would like, would be willing to spend extra money. So I would say it's a little bit disappointing that there is like not a big step up from the the super rare using the same texture and there's like no special treatment for the character it's just the the border and the letter stamping but yeah. let me know in the comments what do you think about the cards and the artworks and maybe you are okay big into detective conan as i <laughs> that's cool i i like the artwork a lot and yeah this is a nice Something different from the the waifu card games or like 
anime artworks of little girls like sometimes i get a little bit sick of it and yeah i think this is super cool i have to get more manga volumes but when i get more manga volumes i have less money for cards so yeah i really i am not up to date with the manga so yeah happy with my box i think i, I did well but yeah thank you for watching for more unboxings please check out my channel subscribe if you haven't yet and yeah i have some also some special content for channel members so yeah if you subscribe as a channel member you get some more videos and see you in my next video bye